y'all. We're back with another one. This is All For God Music, and today we're just going to be reading out of the Bible, Matthew 1. And we're just going to keep reading every day, make a video every day so that people can get the word and understand the word. And more importantly, um, feed off of the word and just be more creative with the word. So Matthew 1, let's talk about this. This is the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah, the father of Perez and Zerah, was mother, whose mother was Tamar. Perez, the father of Hezron, Hezron, the father of Ram, Ram, the father of Aminadab, and Aminadab, the father of Nashon, Nashon, the father of Salmon. And Solomon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz, the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed, the father of Jesse, and Jesse, the father of King David. David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. Solomon, the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the father of Abijah. Abijah, the father of Asa. Asa, the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, the father of Jehoram. Jehoram, the father of Uzziah. Uzziah, the father of Jotham. Jotham, the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah, the father of Menesai. Menesai, the father of Ammon. Ammon, the father of Josiah. And Josiah, the father of Jeconiah, and his brothers at the time of the exile in Babylon. After the exile in Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, and Shealtiel, the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, the father of Abihud, Abihud, the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim, the father of Ezor, Ezor, the father of Zadok, and Zadok, the father of Akim, Akim, the father of Elihud, Elihud, the father of Elisir. Elisir, the father of Mathan, and Mathan, the father of Jacob, and Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and Mary was the mother of Jesus, who was called the Messiah. So, thus, there were 14 generations in all, from Abraham to David, 14 from David to the exile of Babylon, and 14 from the exile to the Messiah. Now, basically, it just broke down everything you need to know about Jesus's genealogy where he came from King David all the way back to Abraham and so when God gave the promise to Abraham that he would make him a creation for, for generations he did not just give him sons he gave him kings he gave him a righteousness to him that's more than anything we can describe so you have to understand that first and foremost. Now this is the keeps going in 18. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph her husband was faithful to the law. And yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She who will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did not he did he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary him home as his wife, but he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and he gave him the name Jesus. So 18 through 24 talks about how Jesus came into this world, um, the Holy Spirit how uh, it can be taken in different contexts, but most importantly, they, they have faith in what this God is telling them, that they have faith in, in the names, um, they give them more understanding of what the next generation is to come and who this king is. Now, God wanted Joseph to do one thing, 
and Joseph definitely agreed with God and gave him the name Jesus. Um, this is basically just a, a reading of the Bible in Matthew. Please come. Oh, no.